All right, guys, so overhead squat, you know, probably 65% of your people are going to be doing the overhead squat variation um, in this manner. They're going to lock the arms out over the head in a Y position. I like to have a, a really low box jump or a medicine ball for them to sit on because it should be a very deep squat and those shoulder blades need to stay back. So two things here. If they're struggling with the mobility aspect of this exercise, which is the purpose of it, you know, if they're really breaking down here, they're not getting into a deep squat, you're going to give them a less advanced version. If they're just not going to have no problem, you're going to give them a more advanced version. More advanced version, easy. They step inside the band, lock it out here, and obviously they're going to have more tension there. You're going to notice a big difference in between what people can do in between that first version and that second one. The third one is where really struggling with mobility, getting deep and not, you know, breaking their shoulders or rolling their shoulders forward, they get to the bottom of the movement. And you're gonna get them inside the band. Remember that if somebody's over 150 pounds, they definitely need the, the, the blue and possibly even a blue and a green together. And if they're under 150 pounds, they just need a green band. So up around the highest part of the shoulder blades you can get, like the shoulders out, we lean back, and then we get in that deep position a lot easier and a lot safer on the knees, but we still get that same mobility, pulling the subscap in the back, all the shoulder blade posture issues can be worked out by getting inside that primal setup. So those are your variations of the overhead squat.